When I joined the Army, at first I was worried about basic training. And while it was a huge milestone in my life and was absolutely something to be proud of completing, there was so much more to the Army. With over 150 jobs available and assignments all across the globe, the greatest adventure of my Army story was waiting beyond basic training. If I had this life to do over 10 times, I think all 10 times I would pick what I'm doing and where I'm at right now. It's a very rewarding lifestyle. Uh, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Michael Holland. Uh, currently I'm a UH-72 instructor pilot, but I'm also a UH-60 instructor pilot by trade. I went flight because uh, I got tired of watching my ride leave me. and I'd be uh, dangling underneath my parachute and I'd see the C-130 leave and I'm like, crap, I have to walk back. I started that process, I would say, May of 2006, and I was finally selected in May of 2008 uh, with a 15-month deployment in the middle of that. It, it took time. I'd submitted, um, quite honestly, a, a crap product while I was downrange in Iraq during the surge, and initially being rejected. Uh, early on in the process was probably the best thing for me. Uh, it, it taught me that I needed to uh, pay attention to those details. The Black Hawk is probably the most diverse airframe in that it can uh, perform a multitude of missions from medical evacuation missions, air movements, air assault, troop movements. We uh, use it for uh, external load movement, special patrol insertion and extraction, fast rope insertion and extraction. We can fly over the water at 10 feet at 10 knots and kick people out over water and uh, we can recover people from the water with a caving ladder. The 160th, they use it as an attack platform, so the Black Hawk can do just about everything that the Army asks of a helicopter. But the Black Hawk is an excellent airframe if you want good, diverse utility, and in an aircraft that's designed for survivability. I've actually lost an engine, and everything else went like it's supposed to. I heard something that just didn't sound right. We're in flight. Uh, I asked my crew, hey, do you hear that? They didn't hear it, and then sure enough, I got the uh, engine oil temperature caution. The pressure immediately fell on the number one engine, and then we got the chip light, and then just it, my dashboard looked like a Christmas tree. But the number two engine did everything it was supposed to do. You could see it working just fine. And normally uh, in aircraft, if you lose an engine, that requires a specific type of landing, or in helicopters in general, that's a shallow approach with a run-on or roll-on landing. My helicopter, with, with uh, having lost an engine, was still able to do a normal approach to the ground with a normal uh, landing dynamic. So the, hel the Black Hawk helicopter was built for the survival and safety of the crew, and you can see it. You can see it when the aircraft uh, has a hiccup, when it has an issue. It's like, okay, something's wrong. Let me save my crew. I joined the Army with the intention of doing some Army time to develop some sort of skill because I was going nowhere in life up to the point that I joined the Army. I had every intention of getting out after my first lift and I discovered that for the most part the people that you meet and the people that you interact with are people of better quality. There's obviously exceptions to every rule. For that person who's deciding if they should join. I would say you're gonna have experiences that your life has not prepared you for because everybody likes to stay in their little bubble. You, you, maybe you haven't left your hometown um, more than just to go on family vacations. The Army is gonna put you with people from all over the world. Go into it knowing that that's gonna be your life. You're gonna learn so much and you're gonna provide so much. It's gonna be an adventure. And the other thing is take everything with a grain of salt. There are times when you have to shut up and bear it. As silly as that may sound, but this is the profession of arms and we do things very specifically for very specific reasons. There are times when you have to, like I like to say, is shut up and color. 